We've got some financial conversations today. Listen up, uh, just listen up. It doesn't matter what age range you're in at all. This is information that could be helpful to you. The Bible tells us many times that we are to end well, but what does ending well mean when it comes to financial things or our property or things like that? Well, joining us today on Faith and Friends is Gary Reese, a chartered financial consultant. And we are diving into a big topic here when it comes to ending well financially. Um, but there's a lot of people that don't really know what to do, not only with their money, but with their property, with their family situation. So let's go ahead and have a conversation about it. Thank you. Uh, I meet with a lot of clients that have these issues at heart. And one thing I'd like to say right off the bat is it's very important for folks to have a conversation with their children, with maybe their parents if they're still alive, with other trusted financial advisors like myself, there's many of us around, and just have a conversation about these issues. Because if you keep silent about it, the topic doesn't come up and you never find out the information that can be very helpful. So what is some of the, these issues that we're discussing that we should be talking about with our children or with our parents? One thing I have found a lot, I've been surprised last few years, is the amount of stuff that we have mm -hmm. On a very practical matter, I have seen with situations many times where people, all of us, accumulate so many things over our lifespan. Maybe it's more here in America than in other countries, I don't know. But we do. And it reaches a point where we have so many things, if we reach a stage in life where we're thinking about maybe downsizing or moving or even relocating for whatever reason, we can become paralyzed because we have too much stuff and we don't know how to handle it. Sometimes it's so much we can't even wrap our arms around it, even start thinking about it. So it's good just to keep that in mind as we grow older. It helps to start downsizing, getting rid of stuff, because no one's really going to want it anyway after we leave, except a few particular items. And try to live maybe a little bit more leanly, if I can say it that way, as far as possessions go. So we don't want our possessions to possess us. Absolutely. It can be difficult to get rid of that stuff that maybe is sentimental to me personally, but my children growing up see no value in it. Would you recommend talking with the children, adult children, and saying, what are the pieces you would like to keep? What are the things that nobody really needs? Absolutely. The more conversations you have, the better. If your parents are still alive, you've probably already had that conversation or are in the process of having that conversation which can be a whole, a hard for the people older than I am now. That generation grew up during a depression mm -hmm. or had parents that grew up during a depression. So their mindset is not to talk a whole lot about things like mm -hmm. this, finances and possessions and things like that. So see your opportunity and listen if your parents start talking about it mm -hmm. out of the clear blue sky someday when you're work working with them or with them or whatever, listen and pay attention and be ready to ask a few questions. The more you know, the better off you are to be able to help them in their later years. We are about out of time and we have opened up quite a few doors with a yes. lot of topics that we could talk a lot more about. But one thing I've heard you say over and over again is the importance of a conversation. Yes. Conversations not just with family members, but also with professional individuals who can help. And you have said there are a lot of people yes. that are available, but I know that Faith Investment Services is a faith-based organization. Before we're, we're done, why don't you just briefly tell me what does your organization do and how can you help in these situations? We invite people to fill out a questionnaire before you come to meet with us. We do not, we only work with those that want to work with us. So we set the stage by filling out a questionnaire, then you're allowed to sit down and talk with me. We will talk with anybody as long as they're willing to put some skin in the game by taking the time to fill out a questionnaire. So when we meet, we just have a conversation. There's no selling going on. There's no anticipation of any ulterior motives or anything like that. We just have a conversation and see what happens because we found that each situation is unique. Many times we're able to direct people to go, go see this professional, go see this professional. You might want to consider this, you might want to consider that. And we can take care of that in an initial conversation very easily. And from that point on, there's a relationship started. And then the person decides whether they want to continue that relationship or not. So we're here as a resource person first and foremost, and then from there we decide how people can be helped in more particular ways. Each situation is unique. That's why I don't like making broad 
statements about every situation because it's not for everybody. So that's what we try to do. And I know that personally you see what you're doing as a ministry. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. We appreciate that. We get a chance to pray with people and encourage them. And it's interesting when we see people when they share and open their hearts about things, it's like God shows up and gives wisdom and insight and clarification. It's not like he's been absent, but it's in the middle of a conversation about these issues that God is giving direction. And we always pray for clarity of mind and purpose and that we have peace of the decisions that we make. And credit to God. I mean, we have the opportunity to be an encouragement to people, and that's what we're about. All right. Gary Reese, Faith Investment Services, thank you so much. If you'd thank like you. to uh, continue a conversation with Gary, here is where you can find him. The website is on the screen, myfaithinvestments.com, and his email address is gary.reese at cfdinvestments.com and of course you can contact us here at TV44 if you have any questions about any of the information that we just shared with you or more information about how you can get in touch with Gary Reese. Thank you so much for you. uh, your well, wisdom, your knowledge and for coming to Faith and Friends to share it with us today. Thank you. My privilege.